What am I going to do to you? What I'm going to do to you is fair. I'm going to do to you what you did to us. If we take back the House, most of the members of the Congressional Black Caucus will be chairs of the committees of the Congress of the United States of America. I will be the first African American, the first woman to chair the powerful Financial Services Committee. That's all of Wall Street. That's all the insurance companies. That's all the banks. And so, of course, the CEOs of the banks now are saying, what can we do to stop Maxine Waters? Because if she gets in, she's going to give us a bad time. I have not forgotten you foreclosed on our houses. I have not forgotten that you undermined our community. I have not forgotten that you sold us those exotic products, had a sign on the line for junk and for mess that we could not afford. And in doing that, I have people who are on the homeless who have never gotten back into a home. What am I going to do to you? What I'm going to do to you is fair. I'm going to do to you what you did to us. If you think we're rallying now, you ain't seen nothing yet. It is time for us to say, even though there are those who don't want us to say it, Mr. President, you need to be impeached. Already, you have members of your cabinet uh, that are being booed out of restaurants. Who have protesters taking up at their house. Who saying, no peace, no sleep. No peace, no sleep. And guess what? We're gonna win this battle. Let's make sure we show up wherever we have to show up. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere, because while you try and quote the Bible, Jeff Sessions and others, you really don't know the Bible. God is on our side. As long as I'm in the Congress of the United States, I'm going to take the floor. And when I take the floor and they try to claim my time and they ask me to yield, I will say not one second will I yield. Not one second will I yield. Not one second will I yield. And so, ladies and gentlemen, as you go about your daily lives, many of you are still in jobs where they're discriminating against you. You're not making the pay that you're supposed to make. You don't have the position that you're supposed to have. And you keep going and you keep hoping and you keep thinking that they're going to get better, that things are going to change. It's not going to change until you decide that you're going to make a change.